everyone. So I posted a uh, call for questions a couple of weeks ago on Instagram. So I'm here to do that video for y'all and answer y'all's questions. And I also decided to leave my hair down. I'm um, usually put it like in a big bun when I have my little um, headband in, but I thought this looks cute. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. So I'm just gonna go uh, from beginning to end on the questions that y'all posted on Instagram and hopefully I can answer some of y'all, some of them for y'all. So the first one says, I just found your videos and I was wondering how you got your husband on board with doing the Dave Ramsey money makeover. So I have a couple different videos I will link up here if y'all wanna check out about how I got my husband on board. But um, I struggled for about a year getting him on board and uh, Dave Ramsey became a curse word in our home. Uh, he did not wanna hear Dave Ramsey's name and we had um, a lot of heavy discussions about Dave Ramsey and um, I finally backed off a little bit because I realized that the only thing I was doing was just annoying my husband anytime I brought the subject up. I started talking more about the why when it came to Dave Ramsey and the program and why we should do this and you know where it could take us in you know five or ten years if we cleaned up our finances and uh, that's really what started to kind of get him on board a little bit I think and I really used like the leverage of him wanting to go back to school because my husband was wanting to go back to school but I wasn't okay with student loans and he realized that the only way that we could afford for him to go back to school was um, for us to pay off our debt and use that extra income every month instead of going towards our debt, it could go towards a sinking fund for his tuition. And so that was really what kind of got him. But then once he started listening to Dave Ramsey, um, Dave Ramsey is really good about getting people on board uh, just with his knowledge and what he talks about. So it's really, you know, just me talking about school and then, you know, get, getting him to listen to Dave Ramsey and, and uh, the rest is history. Okay, so the second question is, how long did each step take? I've been on Baby Step 3 for seven months now and I feel like it's never going to end. Well, first of all, congrats on being on Baby Step 3, which means that you're debt free and that's, this is for your emergency fund. So that's super awesome. Um, baby Step 1, once my husband got on board, Baby Step 1 took like a day because he sold a uh, handgun of his and um, I was able to take that money and put it in our um, savings account and that was Baby Step 1, so that didn't take very long at all. And Baby Step 2 took nine months uh, to fully pay off all of our debt, which was $40,000. And um, then baby step three only took a few months. I can't remember exactly how long, um, but it was a combination of us using our extra income from not having any debts. And then we sold our home and we had a little bit of money that came from the sale of our home. So baby step three didn't take very long for us. Now baby step three B is what we've been on the longest, which is saving for a house fund. The reason why that's taking so long for us is because uh, two different things. One, because um, we are, it's a lot of money to save up for a house fund, so it's taking kind of a, you know, a little while. The second reason is because um, we're cash flowing my husband's uh, tuition. He's going to school full time. I'm going to school as well, but his is taking up the majority of that uh, fund, I guess you could say. And so it's taking us a while to get Baby Step 3B complete. And so I guess you can say we've technically been on Baby Step 3B for um two years i guess if that makes yeah i guess two years but again we have cash flowed um a lot of money towards tuition as well as a new uh engine for my husband's car because the car he drives is 26 years old and had like 200,000 miles on it and it was leaking oil and all this stuff so um, my husband built a new engine for his car um so that obviously costs money but um we are almost i don't want to say almost done with baby step 3b but we're getting close so um that's exciting and uh, so yeah, we've been on that set for about two years now. Okay, next question. What do you suggest for investing your money in? I'm in a rent to buy situation that will be paid off in two years. I have no debt. I'm ready to start having the money I've saved for work for me. Um, I Any financial questions I answer on here, all I'm going to do is just be a parrot of what Dave Ramsey says. I'm just gonna repeat exactly what he says. So my only advice that I can give you is exactly what he would say again. So I would just say contact an ELP and um, have them you know, work with you. And the only thing I would say is I would absolutely recommend an ELP because we have worked with an ELP ourselves and um, he has been awesome. He's been super easy to work with and he uh, really goes by Dave's principles, which is important to us. And so he um, invests the money that we have in that Roth IRA the way Dave would. Um, so that's really important to me. So again, go to Dave's website and you can find an ELP in your area 
and um, you know talk to him obviously you don't have to just pick one just because he's an ELP of Dave Ramsey just use that one person uh, talk to a couple of different people uh, see who it is that you're comfortable with uh, but for us we were just very fortunate that the first person that we contacted um, was so super awesome and uh, we've worked with him and we have been very happy with that choice Okay, next question what have you bought that has saved you money and uh, would you buy a gym membership I actually did a video uh, last year about 10 things that I bought that saved me money so I'll link that up here and uh, would I buy a gym membership yes I would I actually don't like um, home gyms or like home gym equipment it's just like a personal thing of like a pet peeve I guess but um, I don't like having like workout benches and treadmills and all that stuff like taking up a space um, and I think mainly it's because I'm the type of person that I have to be in a certain environment to be successful so like I'm, I'm the type of person that if I'm sitting if I need to do homework for example I would rather get in my car and drive to the library at the school that I'm attending and do my homework there and study there because I feel like I'm more focused I'm more in the zone because I'm in that environment already um, I would get very distracted being at home trying to do you know homework and so the same applies to like a gym um, it's very difficult for me to be motivated and like run on a treadmill and try to do like weights and stuff at home or any kind of like home DVDs like my husband bought insanity a couple of years ago and I just could not stand doing that in our living room I remember one time I was like bent over in this like weird position trying to stretch and I looked underneath my couch and I saw all these like dust bunnies under there and I just thought oh, I don't need to be working out I need to be cleaning and it's stuff like that that just kind of distracts me um, so for me personally I would love to have a gym membership and it's probably on the horizon um, I want to start working out again and I feel like it's absolutely worth the money um, to go to a gym membership and utilize their equipment and you know if something breaks you don't have to replace it and most of the time they're pretty cheap like 30 bucks a month um, but of course it depends on your financial situation what works works best for you okay so next question uh, what personal care items did you use at baby step 2 shampoo face wash lotion etc uh, do you use just the cheapest or is there a brand you prefer so I'm I'm pretty simple when it comes to like products if that makes sense I really don't use a ton of different like things um, I use obviously like shampoo and conditioner I use proactive on my face and it works for the most part except for this pimple right there um, and I use like barred soap like dial if that's I've, I'm sure that's like super cheap um, and if like Bath and Body Works is having their sale I'll buy like body wash from them and kind of use that throughout the year but um, I don't really use a lot of products um i do use like a hair straightener and i have a um hair shine spray that i buy from um i think it's called cibu c-i-b-u and um that's like 25 bucks and i'll probably have to buy that twice a year so as far as like my products i again i really don't use like a lot of makeup i have eyeliner that i use um i don't use foundation really at all um I don't really use lotion which sounds insane but I think because where I am it's so humid constantly that um, I don't really need lotion so um, I don't know I'm just I guess I'm very fortunate that I don't have to spend a lot of money on that kind of stuff with the things that I do buy um, shampoo for example I always kind of rotate I'll go and buy like Pantene or Dove um, I think right near right now I'm using Garnier if that's uh, how you pronounce it and uh, so that's that those are like the shampoos that I use okay next question um, how long have you had your Chevron Savvy since? I have the same one and it got so dirty in my purse after only three months. Um, I've had mine for a while, probably definitely over a year. And um, I, I've not had that issue. I usually don't carry a lot of stuff in my purse to begin with. So um, I don't think there's anything in my purse I could make the wallet dirty if that makes sense. Uh, for the most part, all I ever carry in my purse is like my wallet, my cell phone, my keys. Um, and that's kind of it. I don't really carry like makeup and things like that that might like bust and you know could cause the wallet to get dirty. But for the most part, I haven't had any issue cleaning mine. I would say just take a um, magic eraser and just clean off the side of it because again, the material that the Savvy Sense is made out of, you could probably clean it very easily. So thankfully, you know, I haven't had any issue with it um, getting dirty. Okay, so next question, uh, if you could travel to any country, all expenses paid, where would you go? Uh, I would say Ireland just because I am 100% Irish and um, that's where my family is from like like way down the line but I I've always thought that Ireland is like really pretty when I see it in movies and things like that so that's where I would go okay next question um have you ever found yourself slipping on your tight budget I keep slipping by one to three dollars 
and the quote death by a thousand cuts has been in my mind all day um absolutely totally i I am by no means an expert or perfectionist when it comes to this Dave Ramsey stuff. I am a normal person that has a normal budget and I totally screw it up all the time. Um, the difference is, is that I am aware of that and I try to, you know, get back on course anytime I see us messing up or overspending in certain categories. And I think that that's what, you know, the, I guess the answer to my, you know, my response to your question is, is that you know, you're going to mess up and it's just life and nobody is a perfectionist. And the best thing that you can do is just to keep, uh, you know, going forward and realize that, Hey, I'm overspending in this category. And you just have to kind of have like a, you know, a moment of like reality and kind of like check yourself a little bit and just get back on track and just know that you're not perfect. N no one's perfect. And you're just doing the best that you can and just limit those times that you overspend and just try to, you know, be focused on what it is that you're doing and just to keep going along. But don't, don't beat yourself up too much about that because again, we all do that. And, um, Again, I probably every single day go over the budget or mess something up or I have to kind of rearrange it or have to, you know, again, check myself and say, okay, hold on a second. You know, I keep, you know, messing this up and, and just get back on track. Okay. So next question is I'm on maternity leave till November. Then my husband's going to be home till February and our son starts kindergarten. We're on baby step two. Would you pay off as much debt as you can, or would you save as much money um, as you can till the baby arrives, hopefully next fall, beginning of 2018. Okay, so Dave Ramsey response to that question is uh, stockpile cash as much as you can and pay minimums on everything until mommy and baby are safe and sound at home. And once that happens, you can take all that money that you've been stockpiling and apply it towards your smallest debt and then continue on with the debt snowball. So yes, I would uh, pause the debt snowball until you and the baby comes home safe and congratulations on the new baby and uh then you can after the baby's home and you guys are all well uh pay off the debt okay next question is uh did you just keep one thousand dollars for emergency like dave recommends yes a thousand dollars was plenty for us and uh, we were fortunate that we didn't have to dip into it but some people will bump it up to like three thousand dollars or five thousand dollars and that's totally fine whatever makes you feel the most comfortable and as long as you're paying off your debt and you're being aggressive about that and not overly focusing on the baby like baby step one um i think it's okay to have some more money in your account um just whatever works as long as you know again as long as you're paying off your debt and a uh, part of the same question um she asked if any of our family or friends share our debt-free views and um there are some people that agree with it um but i personally don't know anybody else that's actually doing the dave ramsey plan as um as aggressively as we are um, we're pretty nerdy about it. So, um, that's a big reason why I turn to YouTube and social media so I can connect with other awesome people that do the Dave Ramsey plan. And that's really, uh, fun for me. And it's also very encouraging for me because I use y'all as support to help me, uh, through the times I'm feeling kind of low and, you know, maybe I want to like spend money when I shouldn't and everything. And I kind of remember like, no, I have to, you know, keep on track. And you guys are like my accountability partners. She says, and she also said, uh, while I love your videos for encouragement, sometimes it's hard when those who are around me don't share the same weird ideas. Love your channel, by the way. You're so sweet. Um, but yeah, no, I totally get that about, you know, it's like, you just, you, you know, it's like you want to be surrounded by other like-minded people that kind of feel the same way. And sometimes it can just be a little bit challenging when, you know, you don't really know anybody. But again, that's a big reason why social media is such a great platform. I mean, you can connect with thousands of other people who are Dave Ramsey people and you can, you know, become pen pals with people and, and really get to know them. And, um, that has really helped me again, stay on track and stay focused is that I do these videos and I connect with y'all and, um, you know, y'all, y'all keep me accountable, which is so super awesome. So that's it for the Q and A. I hope you guys enjoy. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.